Hey guys, this is Lego Master 99 again today, and um, today uh, I wanted to make a video sh um, releasing something I've been meaning to release for a really long time now, actually. Um, so, without further ado, we'll just go ahead and get into it. So, as you can see here, I am on Bitbucket. Now, if you guys don't know what Bitbucket is, this is um, basically um, it's a um, kind of like a well, it is a um, version control version control software to where I can put up projects and work on that kind of stuff and what that leads into is that as you can see here I have a redstone computer compiler here now basically if we go here um, this is a repository for my redstone compiler now um, this repository has been in existence for actually quite a long time now but I wanted to make a video for it and I guess I haven't found the time for it but finally but I've, I, I've, I guess I haven't found the time for it. I can't really speak since I haven't been really recording for a while. I've been gone for a while. But <clears throat> yeah, I just wanted to release this to you guys and show it to you. So I've been polishing it up, making it uh, good to show you guys and have you guys access. And what this allows me to do is to do a lot of very useful things. As you can see, it's like a, um, I guess a home, a home for the Redstone computer compiler project. So as you can see here, this is just the landing page here. This is the location of the repository. Source files of this project will be located here. Now this, um, after when this video comes out, I guess I will, um, the code will be published up on this repository and um, we'll look at that in a minute. But as you can see here, purpose of this project, people write programs in a proprietary language called Arcus and blah, blah, blah. Basically and explained it in these, um, and here are the targets. I should link the video here, but and then here are the current features and more features, blah, blah, blah. And um, as you can see here, I have the whole thing. So if we go to the source, we can go ahead and look at the, see here's the different parts of it. Here's compiler. And then if we go to like compiler, you have like all the main code here. So most of the code, most of the source code for the project is up on this repository. And um, that'll allow me to like, you know, put it up and then you guys will be able to see it, comment on it and that kind of stuff. And it's also really useful for me for version controls. And as you can see here, if you guys don't know how this stuff works, if you go to the commits here, I am able to keep track of every single little thing I've done to this project ever since. If we go all the way down to the oldest since late last year, really, when this repository opened up. And I've been working on it ever since, even though I haven't been really making videos updating it, but it's been pu published on this repository. Now you guys can see that, and as you can see, I've been working on it as recent as five days ago and like a week ago. I've been working, preparing for 1.5 release, blah, blah, blah. So you guys can see a lot of the more real-time changes here instead of waiting six months for a video, which I'm notorious for doing, which I'm very sorry for, but yeah. <laughs> but another thing is that, um, as you can see here, I'll be um, it makes it easy to track issues and other things as well. And this is, this is mostly just for me, but I'm sharing it with you guys so that you guys can see it and uh, try to participate in the creation of this project, which I'm very excited about. And as you can see, here are some issues here. I won't delve into these too much, but one of the more important things is that if you go to downloads, as you can see, I have a download for every single version of this compiler and um, for this compiler project. And I will be um, giving you guys a walkthrough of all the updates since um, the last compiler video I posted, but I just wanted to show you guys this. So then once a new version comes out, you guys can download it and then run it without running all that other stuff. And yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys this very quick, um, or not really quick, but I wanted to, um, show you guys my repository here for the compiler project. And I really hope you guys will enjoy it and hopefully it'll grow in the future. And yeah, so now I guess once now that's all out of the way, um, I'll go ahead and give you guys a tour of what's changed since the last compiler video. All right, guys, so now I'm going to go ahead and give you a tour of all the changes that have been going on in this compiler since the project initially started when I, you know, first developed the project. So I guess we'll start off with version 1.0. And now actually, as you can see here, I have a change log. Now, this change log has been updated since the beginning of the project. As you can see, since version 1.0 was pushed in, in the 22nd of July of last year, and now, as you can see here, it's come a long way since then. And the latest version is version 1.5a. And um, this is this is the version you guys will most um, you guys will be most familiar with, since that's the 
version it was closest to when I showed it to you guys in the um, showcase video. Now, if we go here, let's see, here we go. So I have all of the compiler stuff here. So here's the show, here are the showcase, showcase files that I put in, the, that I linked to you guys in the showcase video for the compiler. And I will be updating that with the repository that I'll be releasing this video. And that, as you can see here, we have two programs, the core compiler. And if I run this, as you can see, here's our all familiar command prompt. And then the uploader, which also has your familiar command prompt. If you guys have watched a showcase video, if you guys haven't, you guys probably should watch that. And then as you can see, we have um, some programs and some program binary files. And uh, again, if you guys aren't familiar with this, I would highly suggest looking at the showcase video. So yeah, this is the version you guys are most familiar with, but as you can see here, it has version 1.0. And now this is actually misleading since um, the actual version 1.0 is right here. And it's pretty, um, what is it? It's, it's set up like the, since I use Visual uh, Studio to deploy all this, um, it's not, not in the executable format I wanted it to be. So we'll just skip that, but that was just the initial release. If we look at the change log here, initial release, and now version 1.1, if we look here, um, now all these files aren't weren't available until now, so this is the first look at all of it. So as you guys can see here, we have the spec, and then we have the change log, which is a little dated. As you can see, that's all it has. And then this is the updated change log, which is also in the repository. Now here's the actual executable, and as you can see, this is what the compiler used to look like before I, um, before, uh, a long time ago. Now, as you can see, it's a lot more. It has a GUI. It's a lot more user friendly, I guess. And then we have all the checkboxes here, the save directories, and then you have a bunch of compiler settings here. And yeah, this was pretty old, but it worked. But it still had a lot of bugs in it. So yeah, and then you would use this to just compile your stuff. But it um, it worked a lot differently back then than when it does now. So that was version 1.1. Now in version 1.2, if we go ahead and run version 1.2, as you can see, it still has the GUI. Now the GUI was actually dropped in like version 1.4 ish around here but see version 1.2 we fixed a couple of bugs and some compiler bugs as well so not no um, real changes to the external look of things but a lot of internal stuff was done and then again we only have a spec and stuff in here now for version 1.3 and again um, I'll reiterate all of these are available up for download now that's 1.0 is the um, this 1.0 here so you guys can download it, take a look at it, see how bad of a coder I used to be. And now version 1.3 is the first version that included documentation. Now, as you can see here, this is a lot more um, <clears throat> um, comprehensive documentation. Instead of just including the spec, we have installing the spec into the notepad. And actually, um, yeah, a lot of you guys were requesting the, um, here, actually I'll just show you guys. So if I open up a Fibonacci program here, and we go to language and we go Arcus. As you can see, I have installed the language in here. Now, as you can see, a lot of you, um, it shows the um, the color coding schemes and stuff, but um, a lot of you guys were requesting the um, the file for the colors since you guys were like, oh, I made it myself, but it doesn't look as good as yours, blah, blah, blah. I'm not trying to, you know, self-promote or anything, but I included the user-defined lang file here that has the... Um, let's go notepad plus plus oops that has the um the color uh encoding in there so you guys can just plug that in and then this is the instructions on how to do it and then here are some sample programs that were coded and tested using the compiler and stuff so the version 1.3a was the first version that included this documentation and if you guys watch a showcase video um this also had it also had a little bit of documentation, but not much, not as nearly as comprehensive as this. I can't really talk, Blah. But as you can see in version 1.3, we went ahead and up implemented optimizations for the first time, and then fixed some more bugs, and then updated some hardware for compatibility. And then again, if we go in and run it, there weren't really any external changes, although the optimizations were finally implemented and stuff, so. Yeah, there weren't really many changes, but version 1.4 is where things kind of started to change to what you guys will recognize today. So if we could look, go ahead and look at 1.4, as you can see now there's a new folder, Resources, and it has a couple of these. Now, if we go ahead and look at this now, it still shows our thing, but now it says Initializing Compiler, and we have this. 
And now, um, this was the first revision to where we were, or I was, more rather, starting to work on developing extension support to where, if you guys look here at the landing page of the repository, as you can see, um, function and extension support are work in progress to being implemented so that you can reuse your code over and over again. So this was the first re real revision where we started working on that, and that's reflected in the change log. Um, as you can see here, started to implement resource and extension support. Now, this was probably the biggest update of the entire project. Since as you can see in the change log, it shows that. And this was when we began to use source control, moving on all the big bit bucket. And as you can see, that was as far as December of last year. So that was a while ago. And then um, start, I started doing massive internal rewrites as shown by the change log. But you guys can't really see it because the GUI looks the same. And then I started to fix more bugs and stuff like that. So that was version 1.4 now the latest version 1.5 here um, as you can see it looks a lot more user friendly since i finally added icons for the different programs and this was when the programs actually split since in version 1.4 or version 1.4 and below um, the compiler uploader gui and everything were all packaged in their own program as you can see we have compile and then upload to computer which is grayed out since you'd have to compile it first and then upload it and this didn't support the PB file extension system that we that you guys know of now. So um, for version 1.5, that's when those two programs finally split, as reflected by the change log here. Completely separated those programs, and we re, um, I basically redid both the uploader and the compiler, and then added some more things. And now the uploader here, as you can see, it, it looks like this, and. I guess I'll, yeah, so this is what it looks like, and it basically looks like the same thing as our showcase here. So if we go back to the showcase and then run the uploader, shows like the same, uh, basically the same interface. But there's there's been some changes under the hood, don't worry. It's not like I just rebranded re the showcase thing. And then here is the compiler uh, window. Now this has also gone, some, gone under some massive rewrites, and now as you can see it shows the correct spec, version 1.5a. And then... We have our documentation here as well, and this also includes some more comprehensive documentation um, compared to version 1.3. And then we have our change log here, which is this change log. Now, um, so yeah, that was basically the rundown of all the versions of the compiler so far, and all of those versions can be downloaded. Excuse me, can be downloaded on the downloads page of the repository. And then um, as time goes on, I'll add things to the wiki and then I'll like keep working, improving bugs and stuff. And then hopefully you guys will be testing it and stuff. And so it'll, it'll be great. And yeah, so I really hope you guys will um, enjoy looking at this repository and looking at all the source code and the commits and everything since it, yeah, I, I've been working on this project for a while, but I haven't really had the time to publish a video about it, even though I wanted to for a really long time. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Oh, what the heck? Looks like I bugged out a little bit there. There we go. Okay. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. And um, uh, I'll go ahead and release this repository right when this video is published. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.